So what's happening, my beautiful people? Welcome to PR Sense. My name's Jose, and like I always tell you guys, you'll find great reviews here of fragrances that are not too expensive that you can probably afford. So um, with that being said, this weekend, Brenda and I hit the shops, and we were just moseying around, and I saw this one at Beth, Bed, Bed, no, Bath and Body Works, and I picked it up, and it is Manhattan Nightcap. So if you want to know what I think about Manhattan Nightcap and what I think it's it's a clone of, uh, stick around and I'll see you in a second. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. So like I said, uh, I was at Bath and Body Works and they have some good good fragrances they run about 30 33 dollars somewhere around there sometimes you can get you know buy one for 30 get the other one half off um but some of theirs their stuff is really great um last year the beginning of last year i think it was there was one coffee and whiskey i think it, it was called that just blew you know the the fragrance review world out of the water because it was so good um and it is good it really is good I didn't see the actual fragrance there. There was, you know, the the uh, hair, not the hairspray, the, the shampoo, the soap, all of that. But the actual fragrance, I, I didn't see it there. But I'm sure I just missed it. But this one is called Manhattan Nightcap. And Manhattan Nightcap, let me tell you what it has. Because they don't give you a lot of notes. Um, it has Black Santal, Sweet Brandy, and Cherry Wood. Now, it smells very, very nice. I, I, you know, this is the bottle. The bottle's pretty cool as well. You know, it's their typical square bottle because uh, their, their bottles are all like this, but you know, they got a little fancy with, with the, uh, the look of it. Um, and the atomizer, not bad, okay? And the scent immediately, immediately when I sprayed it, I was like, I know what this smells like. It, like it's, if you have, any of these you'll know what this smells like um it's very very pottery the black sound tall is is there you get a hint of the brandy and that cherry wood um so it's it's a really nice scent but it just astounded me at how much it smelled like something else now i was watching i was doing my you know my usual research on it there is only one person that's reviewed it, and that is the King of Clones. I disagree with him in what he thinks it smells like. Um, and if you guys have any of these two that I'm going to show you, uh, you know, they're also clones of this uh, this clone. I mean, this fragrance. Uh, you'll you'll know once you smell it. At least tell me, because this is what I think. So it smells like uh, Le Labo's Santal 33. It smells so much like it. It has Santal in it for crying out loud. Uh, um, it does smell like that, but it's it's a, a lighter kind of Santal 33. It's a, it becomes powdery, almost like there's a vanilla in there towards the end. Um, but you definitely get that cherry and you definitely get a little booziness to it as well. And it is a very pleasant, nice scent very very unisex so i think male and female some some people would say that it probably leans a little bit more female but so does santal 33 in my opinion it, it leans a little bit more female but if you're a confident guy you can definitely pull this off now if you don't have that yet but you do have one of these two then you'll know what it smells like this one is cremos palo santo and cremos palo santo also smells like Santal 33. It's just, it, it just smells like it. The other one, which is an absolute clone of Santal 33 is by Amir. And this is their factory edition series and it is Rich Santal. Now Rich Santal is a lot richer. It smells a lot more like Santal 33. Um, it lasts a lot longer. And it is really, really nice. I like it. And it also smells powdery, but, but you know, in a much richer way. Um, this is, Manhattan Nightcap is, is a lighter version of Rich Santal, um, but a heavier version of Palo Santo. 
Uh, there was a review on Bath and Body Works website where someone said it lasted like 10 minutes on their skin and then they couldn't smell it anymore. I don't get that. I really don't. I mean, it, you spray it on, I probably get maybe a half a foot of projection, a foot of projection, because people have said, you know, you smell, you smell nice. Um, and then it kind of becomes more of a skin scent, but you get whiffs of it throughout you know those four hours so that's my skin on your skin it may last two or it may last six but i think on average you're probably going to get four to five hours out of it if that much but for 30 33 dollars just respray um it's a very nice scent unisex i think it's more of a evening scent probably more of a spring fall scent although i think you know, on, on a nice summer day, night, I mean, a nice summer night, you could probably get away with it as well. I don't know if it would cut through the winter. I don't, it's not that rich. I think Rich Santal by Paris Corner um, probably could cut through the winter. But this one, I, I would say probably not. Like I said, unisex. Um, and for the price, do I recommend it? Uh, yeah, I do. Is it an exact clone of Santal 33? No, I'd say maybe 70 to 80%, but if you want to get the idea of, of what that scent smells like, that's not a bad one. Cremos Palo Santo is not a bad one. That'll run you about $20, $23. And then Rich Santal is a really nice one. That'll run you about $35 or so, somewhere along those lines. Um, so yeah, do I recommend it? Yeah, I do. But you know, you're paying $33 to know what you're getting going in, okay? Um, but if you want to get that Santal 33 feel, uh, this is this is a nice one to get. Uh, it is a cologne, so, you know, again, it's not going to last that long. But for the time that it does last on your skin, if you like that, you know, then you probably like this one. Some people do say that Santal, you know, black Santal, whatever kind of Santal you're talking about, uh, does smell a little like pickles um like dry pickles i don't get that because i hate pickles if this smelled like pickles to me i would never wear it so i don't get the pickle feel some people say it does but you know to each his own um but do i recommend it is it jose coffee worthy i say it is i say it is it's probably like 70 70 percent jose coffee worthy if you're ever at bath and body works you know and you see it manhattan nightcap pick it up and and take a sniff and see what you think um, and they have a, a couple of other ones. Like I said, uh, Whiskey and Bourbon, I think it's called, uh, is a really nice one. There's a couple of other ones that I want to try. Um, but yeah, for 33 bucks, not that bad. So I hope you guys like this review. If you did, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know. Do you have it? Do you get the, the um, Santal 33 feel out of it? And uh, what's your opinion of it? So as always, guys, you guys make sure that you be safe, you be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.